Hello, everybody, and welcome to this brand new feature playlist thingy that I'm going to do here. Now, this might be a complete and total fucking train wreck, but I think you're going to like it. I really think you do. You do. You do. You do. You are. Damn it. Okay. I have been told over the years that I am a good person to come to for advice when it comes to certain things because I am very good at reading people, okay? And I'm very good at reading situations. Sometimes I'm not that good at doing it for myself, but seeing it like from other people, it's usually pretty easy. So this whole little series here, Ask Dr. Matt, name subject to change, um, is going to be, you know, part Dear Abby, part fucking Ann Landers, Dr. Laura, Dr. Ruth, Baby Ruth, Alf, whatever. It's going to be, you ask me questions about anything. Could be about anything. And I will give you advice. Because that's something that I fucking do. And I've been doing for fucking ever. But it doesn't have to be about writing or poetry or anything. Because in fact, today, on this debut episode of Ask Dr. Matt, it's going to be how to traverse Instagram flirting. This sounds really weird and stupid. But a buddy of mine hit me up with... A bunch of questions and um, basically hit me up too late but told me the whole fucking thing and asked me what he should do and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take his the thing that happened to him and I'm gonna go at it as if like he was talking to me in real time so I could have actually fucking helped him through this fucking thing Jesus fucking Christ all right here we go so, this dude is a, an MMA type, okay? A fighter type. And he had some pictures on his Instagram where he was at the dojo and had his mouth guard in. And um, mouth guards aren't cute. Mouth guards aren't sexy. We all know this, okay? This chick hits him up, and she's like, damn, you look cute with your mouth guard in. He didn't know what to say to that. Oh, I think he said, oh, that's funny. No, I don't. And I said, you should see how cute it looks on your nightstand. That was where you go next, dude. Now, now I'm probably going to piss a lot of people off with some of the things I say. And I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm telling it to you kind of like how it is, but in the sense of... If you were to poll a majority of people, like if you went to 100 people, if we family feuded this fucking thing and gave the situations that I'm talking about and asking, if you were to say this, what would your intentions be? I'm fucking guaranteeing you right now, I'm going to be right on this. Okay? I'm always right on this kind of shit. So some of you might go, that's not me. Whatever. That's not you. The majority of people, it is. Okay. So, and yes, that would have come off very strong if he would have said it looks it would look really cute on your fucking nightstand. Okay? But at that point, everything's on the table. And I think the problem a lot of people have when they are doing their flirtings, they aren't honest with what their intentions are. Now, some of you might be going, dude, I've had dudes be like really fucking upfront and it was just fucking gross. Okay, cool. That dude's not for you. Move on. Okay. There have been girls that I've heard dudes say, dude, like this chick, like she freaked me out at how forward she was. I couldn't fucking believe it. She was just like on. And I was like, whoa. Okay. That chick is not for you move on. It's not a big deal. But if you are wanting to like be cutesy with it and just play cutesy with it, 
then do that. And if the person's playing cutesy with you, then you guys are on the right track. But if both of you guys just want to fucking bone and you guys get to that right away, dude, you guys both know that that's perfect for you. Everything's fine. Bob's your uncle. Everything's good. Do you see what I'm saying? So to me, being up front is the best way to go. The problem is most people who do this shit where they like hit people up on like social media to try to like hook up, it's a fucking train wreck and it takes forever. And then depending on how someone's feeling one day, someone's going to get really upset or it ends up fine and they end up married and everything's beautiful, whatever. Okay. So with that, he said, so what you doing? And she said, oh, I'm at home cooking dinner. I'm cooking roasted chicken with lemon and herbs and small potatoes um, and asparagus. Okay. So she just went through and described this beautiful fucking thing. At that point, I would say, take a picture of it because I don't fucking believe you. Okay. Now you're like, why wouldn't you believe her? I'll tell you why I don't believe her. First off, there are two reasons why someone will tell you every course of something that they're making. One, because they want you to know that they know how to cook. Because a lot of people still to this fucking day, man or woman, when you ask, like, what do you look for in somebody? It comes up a lot. It would be great if they knew how to cook and um, if they could clean. I've heard women say this about men. Okay, people like people who know how to fucking cook, or at least they say they do. Okay, because I've also seen people who are like, dude, I just wanted someone who could cook. I started dating this chick and she's cooking food that I don't know what the fuck it is. And it tastes like shit. I don't like it. Um, so that's funny. So that's one thing. The next thing is she's telling you what kind of meal she would like to have, meaning you take her ass out for fucking dinner. She's basically telling you, hey, this is the kind of shit I'm into. Can't make it any fucking clearer than this, dude. This is the kind of shit I would like. And then you go, oh, well, well do you want to go get a pizza or something? Eh, that's the wrong answer. Your job is to now go, oh, roasted chicken, small potatoes, all fancy like, and asparagus. Hmm. That sounds like a $4 sign on Yelp. Okay, so you got to put that shit together. <sighs> now, the other thing is, in knowing people for as long as I have over the many, many years, most people don't make like a three course meal when they're eating home by themselves. Now, some of you right now are like, bullshit, I do that all the fucking time. Really? You do that all the time every day? Or is all the time for you once a week? Or is all the time for you once a month? Don't fucking lie to yourself and don't fucking lie to me. We know what you do. It's fine. Nobody cares. No one's judging. Quit being so fucking defensive about this. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so, his response was this. Well, maybe later I could bring over some dessert. Now, how do you think this went? How do you think that line went? How do you think it was taken? I'll tell you how it was taken because he told me. She replied to... Dude, what the fuck? Obviously, you're just looking for a piece of ass. That's fucking gross. That's not what this is about later. And that was that. And you might be thinking to yourself, how did he fuck that up so quick? I mean, at the beginning, she said his mouth guard was cute. And then him just saying he would bring dessert canceled the deal. Why was that? Okay, well, let's think about it. What time did this take place? This 
text message chain through Instagram started at 3.30 in the afternoon. Okay? She was wanting him to ask her out for dinner because she was fucking hungry. All right? She did not cook food. That did not happen. So then him saying, well, I'll bring over some dessert. And she's like, ugh, ew, loser, you missed what I was putting out. You weren't picking up what I was putting down. And some of you might be going, why the fuck would like you ask someone out to dinner when they're telling you they're cooking? Let me ask you this. How many times have you started cooking something and a friend even calls? Hey, do you want to go to the bar and get some tacos and some drinks? And you're like, yes. And what do you do? You turn the burners off. You go clean up, paint the face, whatever, and then come back out when shit's cool and you put stuff away. And then you go out. Don't act like this is fucking crazy to fucking say to somebody, hey, I know you're eating right now, but that sounds good. Let's go get something to eat. Unless they invite you over to partake in this food, the food is not, it does not exist. She was never making food. Okay. She wanted you to take her out to dinner. And then depending on how that went, dessert would be served either at the restaurant or at her apartment. Okay. But another thing, too, you have to know the type of person you're talking to. And I'm not trying to be classist and all this other shit. But this person lives in a very nice neighborhood. Very well-to-do. People who live in very well-to-do neighborhoods are usually concerned with things like appearance, money, um, security, stability... Things of that nature. They're not much fun anyway. Okay? So if you're not willing to throw the fucking green on the table to take somebody out, like, that's not going to go very far anyway. And not trying to be a dick, but to be completely honest, most people from that kind of background aren't really that good in the... Yeah. And I just pissed a lot of people off for that one. But, um, shit, prove me wrong. Am I right? So anyway, you need to be able to read what the person's putting down. And um, you blew it. And if I would have been there with you, we would have taken care of this. It would have either got blown on the first message, which saves you time, saves her time. Or you guys would have been at some fancy place and you would have been 200 bucks in the hole. So, you're welcome. So, if you have any questions like this, go ahead and send them to me. If you don't want anyone to, you could leave, leave them in the comments. But if you want to be more anonymous, you can send it to IHateMattWall at gmail.com. And in the subject line, put Ask Dr. Matt. And I'll fucking take care of you. Okay? Sorted! All right. Type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.